So by the end of this module, you should be able to determine the stage of cervical cancer, formulate a management plan, understand the various options of management in special situations. For example, the women who are desirous of pregnancy, those who have medical comorbidities or are currently pre pregnant, etc. One tip I want to give you at the start is that we have a wonderful tool which is essential for all now and it's called the FIGO Gynae Cancer Management app which is available for the smartphones. Dr. Rishma Pai launched this at the conference in August this year as well as Dr. Purandre has launched it at the AOFOG conference and we have about 5,000 downloads already. Coming to the management of cervical cancer, the choice of treatment will really depend on many things including the stage of disease, the fitness of the patient, her age, tumor volume, fertility concerns and the experience and resources available at the center. The standard options are surgery, concurrent chemo radiation and sometimes radiation alone. The newer options under research are the new adjuvant chemotherapy followed by a surgery. Advanced cases will have to be treated with palliative chemotherapy and the palliative symptom control. Now surgery alone, what is it good for? It's really good for the reproductive age group. It preserves the vaginal length, it has less of bowel and bladder complications and the ovarian function can be preserved because in less than 1% of cases are the ovaries involved. The disadvantages are blood loss and bladder dysfunction. Radiation has the advantage that you can do the single modality uh, treatment and there will be no blood loss or scarring but the disadvantages include a loss of vaginal and ovarian function, the radiation induced cystitis, radiation induced proctitis and radiation induced small bowel injury. The combined modality has really no advantages meaning surgery followed by radiation. But definitely it results in difficulty in radiation planning, all the advantages of surgery are lost, there are far more severe bowel and bladder complications, more lymphedema and therefore these patients have a very poor quality of life compared to those with the single alone. 